Hi everyone, this is our skill review video. So you're starting with the tuck exercise, doing one or two each side, practicing lifting that inside leg to tilt the body onto the pole, lower the bottom arm, get your upper body parallel with the ground, and really just master this hold. The majority of my weight is actually being supported in that hip grip, okay, right at that crease. And then my bottom arm, we've talked about, acts like a shelf, okay? So you need to master this before moving on. Then I'm going to spin in my tuck using the inside leg to sweep through, finding that tuck position, letting the bottom arm slide down. Go both directions and get really comfortable. If that feels good. I'm going to try this next exercise, um, helping me tilt back all the way into the Jamila. So inside leg comes up, tilting onto the pole, outside knee goes to the outside shoulder. I'm leaning back, leaning back, leaning back. And then I extend the legs. Outside leg, heel comes to butt. Knee in, back to the tuck position, okay? So you can work there. If that is feeling good, I'm going to spin with the inside leg straight. The outside knee is gonna to go to my shoulder and if I'm feeling confident, then I will extend back. But look at the angle, especially of my upper body and the legs are going behind the pole. So we talked a lot about in class, if you don't get the right tilt, then your hips are gonna pull you back to the ground, okay? So go back to the tuck exercise, tuck spin, then the little test, let it develop, and then you will feel very secure going to the other side, keeping that leg straight, knee to shoulder, and then releasing. Heel comes to butt, knees in, and releasing down. Next up we have our spinning sit. So this is the first variation we worked on. Dropping the arm one time, releasing back. Your goal is to reach on either side of the pole. Top leg is bent. Get comfortable and practice releasing and coming around. All right, so that is the basic option. I'm going to go back through the different variations that you can try with both hands on the pole. So going back through starting with one hand on top, one on bottom. Top leg is bent or in a passe. Next up is jazz split, so I'm gonna straighten. Take the top leg behind me and twist my chest more towards the wall. Last one, the top leg comes back in, knee to shoulder, and split. Both hands are still on the pole. This one definitely requires some flexibility. The pole stops spinning. But watch as I release. I'm releasing the neck, the head and neck as well, so it does not look labored or difficult when I'm coming out.
All right, one final spinning sit. Working on the release and bringing the chest forward. So going back to the classic position, releasing the hand, nothing changes. And then leading with the chest, head back so I have an arch as I come around. Twirling out with the feet. Okay, getting into our climb combinations. Moving front leg, back leg to get into my sit. Releasing, catching with the bottom leg. This one I'm going to reach outside arm high and straight. Inside arm stays where it is. Trace a circle with a straight leg and then let it slide through to bring you into bigger head. I'm going to do inside arm straight for this nice pose looking over the shoulder. Reaching inside arm back up to release down. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing but I'm going to go into it backwards. So start with your regular spinning climb. Less is more in the beginning. I'm going to add some speed here. Releasing back. Separate the legs. You're going to catch with the bottom, but this time my outside arm is going to reach low. My inside arm is going to reach up high. And I'm actually going to bring it onto that forearm so I can push, release, and turn backwards to get into figurehead. Then I just find the floor with that outside leg slowly and release down. Alright, I'll see you soon for more dancing.